Thank you. <laughs> that was the Tri-State Boogie, a tune I wrote partially while I was driving in my car on this uh, wonderful instrument, the diatonic harmonica. This is uh, an amazing instrument. It's the only wind instrument that uses the breath in both directions. <laughs> you can play single notes. You can play intervals. You can play chords. You can play rhythm. No other wind instrument can do this. Plus, the, the other crazy thing is it's invisible to the musician who's playing it while he plays. So as soon as it disappears into your mouth, you can't see it. And so you have to kind of visualize something mental in order to, to figure out what notes to play. And it's got a three octave range. This C harmonica has got the same range as a flute. And that tune I played for you was a, a blues that I wrote. Uh, got, has some alternate changes in it, but it is a, it's actually a 24 bar blues, like 12 really long bars or 24 normal length bars. And uh, I do teach that tune uh, at my artist work, so Monica School, by the way. And here's another blues tune. This one is from Macedonia. Now, <laughs> the thing about the harmonica is that mostly you think of the harmonica as a blues or folk instrument, but these magical bends that were an accidental byproduct of the invention of the instrument, they create all of these options. I mean... <laughs> A lot of those notes I played aren't really on the instrument, but we make them there by the resonance of our throat. This is just on one hole that I'm doing that. And then, of course, I'd also discovered some additional notes because I'm visualizing the piano in my head. So I'm seeing. So that's how I'm thinking on this axe. And uh, the next tune I'd like to play for you uh, is this Macedonian blues called Yovano Yovanke. And it's in a 7-8 rhythm, which is a very common rhythm in that part of the world. And uh, it's very, very bluesy and soulful. And I'd like to play it for you now.
So that, thank you, that was on a G harmonica, a lower instrument than the first one I played on, which was a C. And uh, all these different harmonicas, they're all basically the same in different keys, and there's a reason why I used different ones for different tunes. Um, you have a lot of options and ways to play different kinds of bends and different kinds of shadings. So the next tune I'd like to play for you, I'm also going to use the G-harp. Uh, and this is a piece written by the classical composer Bela Bartok. And uh, my band is waiting for me here on my phone, if I can find them. Here they are. And uh, Bartok, he really liked folk music, and he wrote a lot of, um, of his music based on folk themes that he reharmonized. And so there's a piano track played by someone else here um, that I'm going to play the tune, and then I'm going to play it again and improvise on it, uh, more like a, the way a jazz musician would play over chord changes. Hope you enjoy it. This is the uh, first movement of his Romanian, uh, six Romanian dances. Okay, here we go. This is called Jokiu Bata. jazzier version of it. I improvised a little on that. I couldn't help myself. some fun. I made a mistake. Yeah. And uh, hope you enjoyed that. Um, I, I've performed that whole suite a bunch of times, but um, yeah, it's really a lot of fun. Uh, it was originally written for the violin. And so I, I just have to say I'm very, very happy to be here today and uh, just playing for you all and also representing Artist Works because I am the harmonica teacher for the Artist Works Company, and uh, I'm very, very proud of our school. We got students from all over the world, everything from the, the total beginners to people who are really top-notch professionals who are just wanting to up their game a little bit. And I teach in every style, as you can kind of hear from this. And uh, the last style that I want to play in is uh, 
Brazilian music. Uh, this is a tune I wrote as a result of a lifelong love for Brazilian music and uh, several tours that I've done down in Brazil. I recorded it with the uh, great guitarist uh, Chris Siebold on our Art Plus Adrenaline album. And I also performed it on a Prairie Home Companion in this key of G minor. Um, the actual original key is F sharp minor. Um, and so here's a little piano backing track that I did. Um, and uh, we hope you enjoy the, uh, this piece, which is called, what is it called? <laughs> Oh my goodness, I have forgotten the name of my piece. But here it says the G minor Shoro. So uh, here it is. Mm -hmm. 